Hey everyone, in the world of booming DeFi, many crypto users wonder about lending and borrowing possibilities, while others try to maximize APY for their funds. In this video, I'm going to introduce Virus Finance, the open source smart contracts based protocol for lending and borrowing assets on the Waves blockchain. I'll explain why and how to use it and share a couple of useful links. You may ask why I even can be interested in lending and borrowing crypto. Here are a few common scenarios that help you to put your money into work. The simplest is just lending. You provide assets to the pool so they can be borrowed by other users and earn interest on supply. Other scenarios require taking an actual loan. You can deposit one asset for example, Waves or Bitcoin, take a loan of another, let's say USDN or USDT, and use it for trading or providing liquidity. The borrowed tokens can be used for farming on Swapify or any other AMM, for example. Virus Finance can also be used for margin trading and other scenarios as well, but this is a topic for another video. Hit like and subscribe buttons if you don't want to miss it. Let's move to how actually use Virus Finance. First of all, we go to virus.finance. Here we can find the list of all available markets. There are five right now, but obviously more markets will be added in the future. Here you can find basic metrics about every market like supply APY, or borrow APR, hover on the title of a column to see the details. If you click on the asset name, you can see statistics and more market parameters. APY and APR are variable and depend on current market utilization. Now, let's log in by clicking connect wallet and selecting one of available providers. I'm going to use Waves Exchange email. To be able to take a loan, I have to supply collateral first. Waves has a decent APY right now, so let's supply it by clicking Supply button. Here, I have to enter supply amount. Let's say I'm going to supply 25 Waves and the use as collateral checkbox should be enabled because I'm gonna take a loan using this collateral. So let's click supply and approve the transaction. Here we go. Now you can see my wave supplied and already earning APY in the my supply section. To borrow any asset like USDN, we have to find it in the list of all available markets first and click borrow button. Here, I have to input an amount of USDN, let's say 100 USDN, and I can see now how 100 USDN borrowed will change my account health. Account health indicates how risky my asset portfolio is. When the health value reaches zero, my collaterals can be partially liquidated. If I press max safe, that sets borrow amount to draw account health to 20%. Let's borrow 100 USDN by confirming the transaction. Usually transaction takes up to five seconds while it goes to the blockchain. Our borrow assets are listed on the screen now. And also my account summary is shown in the account status section. I can repay at any time by clicking the borrowed asset in my borrow section. Withdraw is the same. Just click on the asset name in my supply section and click withdraw. 
In this video, we introduced Virus Finance Landing Protocol, explained some of the use cases and showed how it works. I'm absolutely sure that you're going to have a lot of questions about how it works in more detail, so I highly recommend reading the white paper and visiting the documentation section. Follow social media channels. You can join Telegram chat and ask any question. Follow Twitter and Medium to keep informed about updates and features. And of course, go to virus.finance to start landing and borrowing.